everyone, Alex and Kai. We are talking about how to be in a wedding on a budget because if you've ever been in a wedding, then you know, it can get kind of pricey. But so important to be a part of your friend or family member's special day. So here are a few ways that we save money. I decided to rent a car to get back from my friend's wedding, flew down, drove back, and ended up saving a ton of money. Which made your bank account very, very happy. <laughs> Airlines can be so temperamental with their prices, so it's worth checking out. Alrighty, so when it comes to the hair and makeup, this is extremely important, especially for the brides when they have that specific look that they've envisioned for their bridal party. Um, now, hair so it was something that the bride absolutely wanted, so that was something that got paid for, as you can see in this picture braid, some curls. The makeup on the other hand, that was optional and that was $100 that I decided to save in my pocket. Did my makeup all on my own and in fact, the other bridesmaids didn't even know that I didn't have the makeup artist do my own makeup. So I felt like it was a win-win. You're a pro. You're I on mean, TV. I mean, <laughs> I know that it's up to the groom, but I found that it's way better to buy the suit because it wasn't that much more in one of the weddings I was in bought it, the other one rented, and I wish I could have kept the one that I rented, so if you can ask the groom to have an option to buy the suit, it's more of a long-term investment. Different between guys and girls, though. I know they always say, take the dress, wear it once, hem it again, wear it again. Not always the case with some of these bridesmaids' oh. dresses, so I had searched around trying to find a way that I could rent the dress and made it a whole lot easier to find the dress on sale on eBay for half the price when the bride loosened up on some of the stipulations when she said it can be any of the dresses that are made in this color, oh. you can have a set of a specific dress. So I went over to eBay, found it for half the price. eBay. And then? <laughs> Nice. And then what? What'd you do? And then I'm getting it dry cleaned and turning it around and reselling it and gonna keep that money that I spent on the dress. <laughs> That's smart. Now this is really hard for me. I don't like to tell people no, especially when it comes to their wedding, but sometimes you have to say, this is just something I cannot afford if it's not within your budget or within the initial means that the bride said, these are the things you absolutely have to pay for for the wedding. For example, for the bachelorette party, she wanted us to buy specific bathing suits and I just said, I'm really sorry. I hope I can still be there. I just can't wear the bathing suit. And she said, that's totally fine. Just come on down for the celebration. And then it turned out only one girl ended up buying the swimsuit in the end. So I felt a little bit better about it. I'm confused. You had to buy a bathing suit to match for the pictures? It said bride. The they were going to say bride squad. Oh. Weddings are a whole oh, okay. thing now. They are a whole thing. The, the bride squad. Okay. Yeah. Bride Got tribe. It. I've However seen the bride you tribe. I want to say it. <laughs> Okay, cool, so you said no, all right. Uh, so we told you a few ways you can save money, and when I save money, when it comes to weddings, I'd rather spend extra money on the gift. This ain't a birthday, this is a wedding, so. Uh, but even if you don't have a lot of money to spend on a gift, I found a great way to, to save a few bucks. So I had a, a funny picture of me, the bride and the groom, from a ways back, and decided to put in a, in a picture frame, a wedding picture frame, that picture. So it was, had some sentimental value and they got a frame so if they really want to they can take the picture of me out, out and where it says in. you know where it says your special day and <laughs> it's us three one last thing to add before we wrap up here a lot of people get caught up in the production of weddings and i think pinterest is 100 percent to blame for yeah. this it is so addicting you go on there to find out what you're cooking for dinner and next thing you know your whole wedding is planned <laughs> and you've designed your future home but also remember that weddings really are about love and about two people coming together to spend forever together. And so try not to lose sight of that when you're planning your big day. And finally, invite Alex and I to your wedding. We are a hoot and they holler. <laughs> <laughs> but don't invite either of our mothers because they aren't allowed to see how we behave at said wedding. Mom, don't listen to Kai, I'm an angel. <laughs> a little princess. <laughs> and congrats to everyone else out there who's getting ready to tie the knot. And for everyone who's gonna be in those weddings, well, now you know how to save a few extra bucks. Thanks for watching Home Means. Be sure to like, comment, and share.